YouTube kick. It's going good, really. Good to see you. Um, let's get right into this topic. Been a hot day. Um, one thing I may introduce is for every sub I get, maybe I'll do five push-ups. Just somebody that suggested that, and it, it works towards my working out fitness goals anyway. But I have to figure out how to implement that. Okay, so let's talk. Okay, so first thing I'm going to talk about is somebody had asked me the other day, was I still depressed about porn? Because I made a video on YouTube called 100 Days Free of Porn, and I'm still depressed. The reason for that was because I was having such bad anxiety and I thought that once I stopped looking, you know, once I start changing my life that I thought that um, it would just be this magical place. But it's a funny thing when you let go of an addiction, when you let go of an addiction, you just start to realize that life is the same for everybody. You know, life is the same for everybody. And there's people out here who actually live without addictions. And I was just like, man, I just thought life was going to be bliss. So that brings us to our question today. Am I still depressed about porn? I'll say no. I'm not really depressed about porn anymore because life has gone on. Sorry, my mustache. Life has gone on, but um, I will say this and I will, I'll be honest. Like letting go of porn is super hard to say that it didn't affect um, everything in my life and the intimacy with my wife and uh i'll say it it didn't make it it still does sometimes it still makes intimacy kind of hard i'm still my mind is still very used to being stimulated by something outside of that stuff uh, and that's something i've had to work towards you know i i just try to tell people and i try to tell myself you know if you masturbate and especially masturbate to porn it's going to affect your marriage because you it's, it's not as easy to get um in the mood or continue to stay erect or anything like that because you're so used to being stimulated from an outside source and honestly and it's just me just being honest it took me some time i had to practice that i still have to practice that um just being intimate with just my wife and just being okay with that when you live 17 years in a fantasy it's it's hard man and like i said it's not i don't always succeed i don't always do best um it doesn't always end well um that's the hard thing about intimacy and marriage and i think there's a lot of things that people overlook and they don't want to talk about porn ends a bunch of marriages and i can tell why i can see why one thing i can see porn doing ripping a marriage apart is because of the intimacy part as well when you can't have um i'm just gonna keep using the word intimacy though if you can't have intimacy with your wife or your husband because you're so into porn it's going to affect the marriage because that is a part of it and when your partner starts to feel unloved because they can't keep you in the mood or they can't keep you either erect or for women the other thing it really starts to affect you um even my wife at one point um had told me that she felt um like she wasn't beautiful and all this kind of stuff because i at, at a point i couldn't keep it erect i couldn't I tried my best and I, I couldn't do it because I was so used to pornography and it made me feel so bad and I had to do a lot of prayer and it still takes me a lot of practice to be able to do it. And when I say practice, I mean, just, just enjoying it now sometimes. And I'm just opening up to you young men who are in marriage. If not, um, this is just the honest truth. Sometimes, you know, intimacy can last anywhere from five minutes to two hours. I've had my intimacy stuff last two hours because sometimes i could keep it up sometimes i couldn't keep it up sometimes i could stay full and that sometimes i just couldn't um and it's hard and it's, it's it's never just smooth sailing every time um and that's just something i'm still having to deal with and sometimes i do feel very bad i feel very ashamed um i mean i i have to forgive myself but i still feel very bad that i've ever that that sometimes i can't um satisfy like i want to because i'm so used to outside sources like i say some days are better than others some months are better than others and it's just something you really got to deal with so what i say does it have me depressed anymore and I, I say no i'm no longer depressed about pornography but i am upset with myself some days because i let myself fall into this and being honest with you guys 
I have to really watch myself on social media. I'll be lying to you if I don't say if I'm scrolling through Instagram, if if a, if a butt comes up because it, and I don't have like some girls twerking or something. I'm just talking about the average girl just comes up. She's riding up. You know, uh, you have those. Uh, what do you call those bicyclers that ride around the track? They're, I follow one of those women and every now and then she'll post something more sensual. And I actually have to mute her. But that kind of stuff will catch my eye. If I see a, a, a gym chick on my, because if you go to my Instagram, you know that I have a bunch of a vegan stuff and a bunch of gym stuff. Um, if I catch a girl working out, it's going to catch my eye. So I really have to watch myself. And what I've been doing for help myself is on my Twitter and on my Instagram, I just use my, I mainly use my smoke, my smoke channels. I use my, what can I smoke? Y'all can see at the bottom. What can I smoke? And I use what can I uh, smoke on Twitter and Instagram. And that's just smoke stuff. Like none of the other stuff comes up because I don't have any gym related stuff, nor do I have any vegan related stuff. It's just smoking um, and cannabis stuff related. And you know what it does? It makes it easier for me to actually get off of Twitter and get off Instagram faster because there's, you know, there's only so much cannabis I can look at. And normally I just go to look at products and see if anything news came out and then I'm gone. <sighs> and then on my YouTube, I have to use a specific place where the only thing I ever see, and y'all are going to laugh at this. This is so stupid. But the only things I see now on my YouTube, for the most part, I used to have it on sports and everything. Um, I actually, I have to speak about this another day. And this will relate to why I stopped listening to music, but I don't watch sports as much as I used to because I get to, and I've, I've noticed be, when I don't have pornography every day, and I'm not high as much as I want to. I got so invested. I got so addicted to social media. I got addicted to watching sports. And I love sports anyway. But I got so embedded in it that when a certain team lost that I love, it would actually start to affect me. Like, I'd actually get angry. I'd actually get mad. I can see you commenting. Um, please, I will get to your comments after I finish. But if I keep answering or looking at the comment section, it'll, it'll make me lose my train of thought. So I do apologize. I will respond to you guys when I'm done talking. But nonetheless, I found myself getting so deep into sports that I found myself getting upset. Like when a certain team won or a certain team lost, it actually affected me. Sometimes I wouldn't even want to live stream. It would affect me so bad. So I've had to cut back on that. So with that being said, when I go to my YouTube now, for the most part, all I see is Minecraft. <laughs> I watched this one guy named a cookie God, if y'all heard of him. And he just builds random stuff for like an hour. And I just watch that, you know, because um, there's so much stuff out there. Like I couldn't watch. I can't watch American Dad. I can't watch certain YouTube channels because they get so sexual. Um, some of them talk about Satan and just, I just I even can't even watch some of the political stuff. I love like the Hodge twins. I used to love them, but they're so sexual and they're talking and I'm not knocking them. It's just hard for me to watch it and not want to go look at porn. I'm just being serious. So I have to watch people like The Daily Wire. Um, I have to watch other random YouTubers. Um, just um, think before you sleep. I have to watch commentary channels that aren't lewd. And so I'm still making that change. Um, but that's still hard. But yeah. So I would say no porn doesn't have me depressed anymore. But it for sure, even here, and I've been really struggling here lately. This last month has been super hard. I've that's the reason I've been making so many changes because I've wanted to just go back to it so bad. And that's my own fault. I was letting myself slip, listening to certain songs, looking at certain uh, videos, watching certain shows and just letting it fly. And if there's any lesson I can give y'all before I uh, end this topic, <sighs> you have to be diligent. One thing I've noticed is just one simple video can lead you down such a dark road and next thing you know you don't know where you're at that's just the honest truth peace